Dr. Axelson has won seven of them, including the last three. The last time they met was at the quarter fight in the final. He's 30 years of age now. He turned 35. Last year, he contested eight finals, winning seven of them from 14 tournaments played. Oh, well, they both got an net cord on uh, In fact, beat Victor Axelson in the first round, didn't he? I think the other, I'm not sure. You know that better than me, Joe, but I think the other victory is in Odinson. Uh, it is. I think Lowe um, prefers either really fast or really slow. He can play in really slow playing conditions. That would it is. So th that's why you need really good um, shot quality. See, that was perfect. You reduce it because of the foot. That has not been the case since then. It's not been a lot of practice. There's been like 10 days or something. But um, a much, much more positive uh, place for him to be. certain his coach was pretty happy with what's happened so far isn't he yeah reasonably uh, satisfied oh. yeah. Yeah. covering the forehand it's hard to make that change Oh, missed opportunity. As well, Axelson against Rasmus Gemke. Played three games, then he had a, a bye in the second against Darren Liu, and then he played the Japanese. He's pretty satisfied with that um, six-point lead right now. Not very many. No. Oh, that's going wide. Yeah, well left. Playing it long, and second of all, you're not really slow on the court, so you might be able to get to it anyway. Yeah. For the two-time defending champion. Again, there wasn't real commitment on what should have been a winning shot. play instead twenty one thirteen that opening game what Axelson should do yeah focus on what Axelson should do he should stay patient in the uh, where, where the um, even though he has some reasonably uh, big ups affecting the timing uh, uh, on the front court. Still think the, the wall that's between Victor Axelsen right now, on the other side, on, on the side Lowe is playing, there's uh, spectator stands. Uh, I saw a lot of the same in. Um, it, was, it was a little bit more efficient in, in Huelva in 2021. But what I want to praise Victor Axelsen for and some yeah, other players. Good. Because we're watching Loke and you. I would like to ask him what, what, what have you become better at since 2021? Mm. Because I think there should be an, uh, an analysis. What do I need to, um, to beat the, the other top players on a more consistent Korean doubles players, especially the world champions and mixed doubles? Um, Oh. 
is the right approach in this case here. And then, of course, if, if low suddenly starts um, getting on a roll, then they might need to reevaluate. Possible or not, <laughs> I have my doubts. Has he got it even faster? Has he improved his defense? Has he improved, improved his net play? Oh, lucky net court. Of carrying out that, um, that skill. Um, attack the service a little bit extra. Put some pressure. To me, he let it drop too low. Yeah. He, w he wasn't that far from the net. No. Why didn't he take it early? Yeah. That's that's a big, big question. I think it's a bad habit. Of Lo Kenyu. I think he's got so much talent. He has. But whether there's not a sense of urgency, he doesn't want them to use the one on the A board, is that right? Did I right, understand yeah, that I correctly? I couldn't understand it. Yeah. Of, uh, low, then he's able to lift or overplay him the next time, access and um, overall game plan, I think. That's why does it? <laughs> Nicely worked. of this second game. Oh, yes. Service over. One left. Nope. Oh, Victor Axelson. This yeah. time, third time of asking, and a 